So I often get a lot of comments from people asking me, what gun don't I like? Um, there are guns that I generally don't care for, and I usually stay away from them because my reasons for not caring for them so much are really subjective um, and have nothing to do with the gun's functionality. Um, because very rarely do I get a gun that just doesn't work or just sucks. However, there are some guns just on a personal level I don't really care for. And one of those guns is the Glock 17. Before you finish watching this video, a word from our sponsor. Have you ever thought about making a living in the firearms industry? If you enjoy gun repair, ballistics, and learning about firearms, Sonoran Desert Institute's online courses might just be a good fit for you. To find out more, visit sdi.edu or call 480-999-4767 today. All the ammo used in this video was brought to you by Nosler, maker of the most innovative, most accurate, and most effective bullets and ammunition in the industry. Well, in this case, to be more specific, this is a Glock 17C. But the thing about that is, I actually prefer the 17C over the 17, but I still don't care for it. And here's why. First things first, let's start with the looks. Subjectively, I think the Glock 17 looks disproportionate. It just looks kind of unproportioned in a lot of ways, and I don't care for it. Like, and I know this is an older generation, but even the newer generation ones, when I see a Glock 17, it just looks kind of weird and awkward. And I just, I really just don't care for it which is weird because it's 19 and the 23s and all the other guns look pretty much the same as all the other Glocks, but I like the way those look proportionately. This, not so much. Another thing I don't like about it is the ergonomics. The ergonomics on a 19, on a 17 for me, just don't work with my hands. Like it's not terrible, but a lot of it has to do with the way the gun naturally wants to point. For me, it just, it doesn't point naturally. Like. When I try to come on target, and on a point, I always feel like I have to adjust it and then shoot the gun. And that drives me insane because I like a gun to be naturally intuitive and it's like I'm always having to adjust where my sight hits and lands and I'm like, oh, I'm not really sure. Is it here? Lining the sights up, all that crap. It just, it quite frankly pisses me off. I it, it, don't like it. Now, another thing about this, Something about the recoil impulse on the Glock 17 is kind of meh to me. Now, it's improved market, it's, it's improved drastically with the 17C. And for those who don't know what a 17C is, a 17C is essentially a Glock 17 with holes in the barrel and holes in the slide. So it's essentially acting like a comp. And what it does is it mitigates a lot of the recoil, which, which you think you wouldn't see. You see, it just, every single time, I just do not work with this gun. What you're not hearing me say is that this gun is bad. It is not a bad gun, quite frankly. It's a phenomenally good gun in other people's hands. For me, it just doesn't work. And largely because it doesn't feel natural. It just doesn't feel natural in my hands. And I know a lot of people out there are gonna be screaming bloody murder. Oh my God, how can you hate such an iconic gun? And it is incredibly iconic. And I genuinely like it for its reputation of reliability. I can't knock that. But in my hands, oh God, I don't like it. <laughs> I, just, I just don't care for it. But like I said, it's a good gun. Like, like, I, I, and that's just it. Sometimes you're just gonna run into guns you just don't shoot well. And that's for me, 17 is one of those guns. I've taken it to courses, I've, I've run courses with it, and it, in my hand, when I'm shooting, I never shoot well when I'm running a Glock 17. And I'm pretty sure there's gonna be somebody on there or a trainer or someone's gonna say, well, you gotta know how to shoot the Glock 17 correctly. And you're right. I just don't care to because there's so many other guns out there that I could be using that fit my hand naturally and I don't have to do all that. Now, I'm gonna leave you with this. Even though this video is about the Glock 17, what this video really is saying is, Go out and shoot the gun first before you buy it, if you can. You really want to do that because you don't want to make such an investment. Get there and then start shooting and wondering why it sucks. Back in the day, maybe, you could err on the side of, well, it's reliable. And it's one of the most reliable guns out there. But there are too many guns on the market now that you can get that could fit you perfectly. You don't need to compromise. You really don't. You don't. On today's market, with all of the companies making all types of guns, you don't need to compromise. And for me, the 17C in my hands, or just the 17 in general, is a compromise that I'm not 
willing to make, nor do I have to in today's market. So there are a lot of people who love the 17 and deservedly so. 17 just don't love me. <laughs> oh, and one last thing. I want you guys to leave what gun doesn't work for you in the comment section. Because I want to hear from you guys. I want to see if I'm not just the only person that feels this way. Not only about the 17, but about any other gun. Maybe a good gun just doesn't work for you. So, let me know in the comment section. Glock is probably going to curse my name at this video, but whatever. I still love him. Guns aren't political. That's why I need your help getting this message to spread on YouTube by clicking the thumbs up button, leaving a comment to let me know what you think of the video, then subscribing to the channel. But most importantly, click that bell symbol. For products featured in this video, click the links in the description.